Hey guys, Dave from DE Services. Today I'm going to show you some fire cats and we're going to explain some things to you here. Now, I installed these fire cats because there is actually no top plate to this job and the reason why is this house is actually balloon framing. Um, we had to fur out some of the walls for a new bathroom here and similar on the bottom as it is on the top uh, framing goes up through the entire house first to second floor and there's no top plates or bottom plates so what we have to do is we have to seal these up either with uh, fire cats which are uh, the blocking that you saw above or you could use fire foam or you could use what's the product called mineral wool or rag wool which is basically fire Proof insulation. Uh, it's also called thermofiber. Uh, what we're going to use on a lot of this stuff is the spray foam fire blocking, which basically you spray it into the spaces that you cannot get from cutting. So as you can see here, I'm spraying it into a lot of the fine spaces and it's going to expand. We also have to do our penetrations. Anytime an electrician or a plumber runs their wires and pipes, you have the holes, as you can see, and these also need to be filled. Now, the object of the fire cats and all this penetration uh, foam is to close the bay that all your plumbing and or electric is in. And what that's going to do is when you close the bay, it only has so much oxygen that's actually in that bay for the fire to burn. And it's not going to allow the fire to draw oxygen either from the top or to the bottom. Therefore, it'll keep it from spreading. Now, as you can see, a lot of this spray foam is now installed. And it's pretty much everywhere along the top and along a lot of the bottom on this job it made sense for us to use the spray foam because there was a lot of small cracks now when you have a lot of small cracks like that it just makes it much easier the, spo the foam you spray in there it expands okay now if you have anything big like down below we had some big spaces it would take a few cans of the spray foam and it's really not worth it to do. So we use the thermofiber here. And that's all you have to do to seal up your fire blocking penetrations. Good luck guys.